If you like the creepy crawlies or appreciate a good reptile, you're in luck. The Monteverde region is filled with these types of animals. In fact, there's over 5,000 types of moths alone. One of the things I liked when I traveled here is that there were some dedicated areas to make this enjoyment even easier. At the same place where we explored the cloud forest, there was a beautiful indoor place to view butterflies, a garden greenhouse with tons of different butterflies that were being nurtured and grown. Now, this is a bit like cheating, but remember, if you like butterflies, it's very natural to go to a garden environment or to go to a botanical center to see them. And the one here was world class. It was really enjoyable. But one of the things that was a bit shocking is after being out and shooting in the cold rainforest was just how much of a temperature change there was. When we walked into this, my camera immediately fogged over. And not just a little bit. It looked like I had stepped into the shower with the camera. It was that bad. And I continually had to keep wiping the lens. Pay close attention to those temperature changes because it's very easy as you go from an indoor environment to an outdoor environment and vice versa to see the lens fog up. You might explore using an anti-fog coating or getting anti-fog wipes, and I did travel with some wet lens wipes to help this. Additionally, that microfiber towel really came in handy to dry off the camera body and a dedicated lens cloth to wipe the lens surface. In fact, I went through three that day. It was that damp. Another thing that's quite nice is right in Monteverde itself is a Serpenteria, a museum dedicated to serpents and also things like turtles and other animals, similar reptiles. This is fantastic. You can get a good idea of the environment and see these animals up close. The ones that are poisonous are behind glass. Now, if you want to capture their picture, just make sure you talk to the museum owner, but they were very friendly to taking photos. By angling the camera and shooting through the glass off angle, I was able to minimize reflections and get some pretty good pictures. Additionally, I was able to use tools like a circular polarizer to cut down on reflections, and that might come in handy for you too. When you're here capturing these, you'll also find that some of the animals are open or in, in cages that are not restrictive, making it easier to capture their image. Now, for some of you, this isn't the purest of finding the animal in the wild. But don't worry, you'll find some of them there too. What I found was by going to the Serpenteria, I had a better idea of which animals were poisonous and non-poisonous, and which ones were highly likely to be found and where to find them. By going there, I got more familiar with the reptiles in this environment and it made it easy to catch. Plus, there are tons of interesting animals here and insects. The insect population was really diverse and I saw some things that I never saw before. One of my favorite shots here is this one of this metallic beetle. So just slow down and keep your eyes open. Because so much of the area is undeveloped, wildlife is gonna come to you. You don't have to go very far out to be surprised. Walk out on the patio of your hotel, it might be there. Step out to your car in the parking lot and there might be a snake waiting for you. Everything was safe. But the takeaway here is make sure you look around, both because there's some great photos to make, and I will tell you this, watch where you step.